YouTube. This is Bub's Comics coming at you with a quick comic call. So, uh, first off, we'll mention these two books in the background. Uh, we have Batman number 181. That's the first appearance of Poison Ivy. And we got uh, G.I. Joe number 21. I think it's the first appearance of Storm Shadow, but it's definitely um, uh, the silent issue, as they call it. Uh, very, very cool book. Um, both these books are going to be up for auction on Wednesday night, January the 22nd on DS Comics channel. So if you're catching this one the day it airs, then you'll get to check those out. Um, I received a copy of this book from Silver Age Dave. And that book is secure in my collection. So anyone that remembers that or Dave, if you're watching, uh, that book secure in my collection. This is another copy that I have. Actually, this is my better copy that I'm selling. Um, it's even better than the one that Silver gave me. Uh, but I like the one Silver gave me better because he gave it to me. So <laughs> that's how that works out. Um, so we'll get right off into the haul. Uh, check out DS Comics channel for, for that auction on Wednesday night. Uh, first up, we've got Wonder Woman, number 200. This book I got from um, Big Will. He had an auction going on. If you're not uh, uh, subscribed to him, go right ahead and do that. And he informed me that I was his first subscriber. So if I didn't like him before, now I have to like him. Don't you hate when that happens? Nah, he's a good guy. So um, Wonder Woman, number 200. Classic, you know, some people will say bondage cover, whatever. To me, it's not necessarily a, I don't know, bondage doesn't really do anything for me, but headlights do. So, <laughs> to me, that's a classic headlights cover. Uh, she doesn't need the chains at all. If she was just laying like that, that'd be fine with me. So, fantastic, and I love that it's the beauty hater, and it's got, like, the scalpels and the tools. I just think it's so creepy and such a nice kind of kind of transition into horror I think it's so awesome I just love this book I love this cover and when he had it up in his auction I've been after it for a while but with all this black in there very hard to get a high grade copy uh, the ones on the internet often are color broken big creases across them and when he showed this book it just looked about as pristine as it could get and uh, super happy with the grade on that uh, just love that cover I love that book uh, next, we got Detective Comics number 470 or 422, and that is the issue. Now wait for it when uh, um, Commissioner Gordon. That's Commissioner Gordon sitting in the chair. Great Neil Adams cover, great um, Batgirl cover, and I just think that Batgirl is all kinds of perfect. Neil Adams had really outdone himself on this. Legs are a little long, but I'll forgive it. Just fantastic. And I love how they put Batman in the background as if they thought like a silhouette of Batman would help sell this book. It is Detective Comics. They didn't want you to think that it was going to be a Batgirl issue. They didn't think Neil Adams could sell Batgirl, but he does. Um, so Commissioner Gordon finds out that Batgirl is Barbara Gordon uh, or Vice Diversity. But uh, actually, he had already found that out a couple of issues before, so it, it wasn't a real revelation. It's just a revelation to her that he knows. So there's a the difference there. Uh, next, we got Catwoman number 44. You guys know I'm working on this Catwoman run, uh, trying to pick up at least all the Jim Balin issues. And then there's only about 10 or 12 issues he didn't do, so I'll probably pick those up too. But look at this cat fight. Holy cow. I don't even know if it's got cyber cats, and I haven't read it yet because I'm trying to read them in, in order, and I'm not up to 44 yet. So fantastic. I've read the first, I think, 12 so far. Um... Marvel Comics Presents number 132. Just filling in that run. I was missing that one. I'm trying to pick up all the Marvel Comics Presents that have Wolverine in the title. And it gets tricky because some of them are flip books uh, later on. So you got to take it out of the bag and check it if you don't know. Uh, ROM Space Knight number 2. This is my first time owning a ROM comic. So uh, it's a ROM-COM. <laughs> so this is my first time owning a ROM-COM. Uh, I think I, I think I like it. Uh, you know, I like robots. I like space. I think I could get into some ROM. So uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking about picking up some more of these. I flipped through the book. It was pretty cool draw, uh, pretty cool action. And and this is number two. So maybe I'll go back and get number one. So looking forward to that. Um, this one's for Roger's sake. There's a Mike Grell cover. Uh, Enter the Lost World of the Warlord. 
he had shown this, I think, in one of our chats, and he had said that it, he just put it up there because it reminded him of me. <laughs> so there you go. Mike Grell, uh, he excels at drawing emaciated yet muscular uh, men, and uh, he does pretty nice with the ladies. I don't know about that fur patch. I, I'm trying to think of a decade when that was in. I'm not... I'm not digging the fur patch on the hi the hiney patch. The front bra fur is not too bad, and the foot fur is not bad, but that hiney patch that that's a bit much. Um, next we got Thor Ragnarok Prelude. So uh, I've been picking up all these kind of Prelude books with the photo covers, especially this one is kind of like an artistic rendering of a photo cover, but I like it pretty well. So pick that up. That's number two of four. I wish there wasn't four of them, but. Uh, here's Lady Rawhide. Uh, this is the preview to Lady Rawhide. I saw this in a dollar bin, and I was like, you know what? That looks pretty cool. I picked it up, and I thumbed through it, and I know, I know that Adam Hughes did a Rawhide cover. I forget which number it is, three or four or something like that, and there's only like six or seven in the run, and uh, in the tops run, and he had done a a cover in the run so I was always interested in that cover because I remember passing it up in a dollar bin one time it's still only like a two or three dollar book but pretty cool cover and after thumbing through this which is like a preview of the first issue a couple of pages out of the first issue it's really cool and the drawings pretty good on it too so I'll probably pick up that whole run in fact look for that in a future haul because I bet it's coming soon uh, next we have Nightwing number 51 I can't leave these foil covers in a dollar bin um, and Nightwing's one of my favorite characters, uh, so I, I couldn't I couldn't leave that behind. I just thought it was really cool, and it's super shiny, and I'm still a sucker for that. Look at that glare! Holy moly, uh, fun stuff! And uh, you know, I just can't leave those behind for a dollar. Anytime I see one of those full covers for a dollar, I'll, I'll pick them up and I'll keep them, or I'll give them away, or sell them, or whatever. Working on this Tomb Raider Volume One run, we got number thirty one. Uh, this is like, I don't know, a manga eyes version of Tomb Raider, so pretty cute. I got no problem with it. I'm trying to pick up every variant cover, every original art difference variant cover for uh, the Tomb Raider run, and I'm closing in on it. I probably have maybe 20 or so left to get, uh, maybe less than that. I'll have to check on that. So pretty fun, pretty cool. Uh, keeping it hard with these Christmas comics. I'll be picking up Christmas comics all year long in anticipation of next year's Christmas show that I hope we have again. Uh, so here's the Kimiko Christmas special, a nice Dave Stevens cover, one of the few Dave Stevens cover that are cheesecake covers or good girl art or whatever you want to call them. And it has like the, uh, they're like landing somewhere. It looks like maybe they're landing to see snow for the first time. And I don't know if, I think he's given this person a present. So kind of cool, aliens and Christmas. Can you really go wrong with that combination? And we're going to round them out with a few reprints. we got uh, Weird Science number 10, my favorite Weird Science cover. I own this book already. Wanted to get the reprint. Uh, so very happy to have that. Super excited. Thank you very much uh, to, for, uh, to Gladstone or whoever did this, these reprints because they're awesome. So Weird Science number 10. we got Weird Science number 9, another cool Wally Wood cover. Fantastic. And we got, uh, that one's really trippy. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. That that one you can just stare at for 20 minutes and see something new every time. And we got Weird Science number uh, 8. This is a Feldstein cover, but still cool. I like this whole Weird Science run. I'm trying to collect the whole thing. And another Feldstein cover, Weird Science number 7. So thank you all for joining me on that. But one last thing I'm going to show you. Um... And that is Tats Comics had shown off his file cabinets and he was shouting out uh, uh, Murphinator. Uh, so Murph had shown off his file cabinets. So it's been a while. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a quick deal with my file cabinet. So you guys know that I love my cabinet. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's very... Uh, stacked so what i do is i put top loaders in each of the um in each of the fronts i have foam back behind here and if you see when i open it up you can kind of guess what all that looks like and then all the books they're a little tighter than i want them just because i have so many books that's one of the reasons why i'll be participating in the auction uh wednesday night 
So you see all those books in there and then I put a top loader in the front and it's secured by this brace and this is all a custom paint job. Of course, my wife and I did it and uh, he had made a request as well. So I change out these top loaders often, swap out different books from inside the cabinet with the top loaders. So it's hard to choose because sometimes you got like a favorite book you never want to let go, but usually they're the newest key books that I've picked up that I think look cool. And uh, if you look here, I'll show you, we had a special request. So here in the W's, we have Webman, <laughs> number one. That is Tats Comics, number one choice for a, um, a uh, spec book. That's his number one spec book, Webman, number one. Find it at your local dollar bin and be a millionaire tomorrow. Webman, number one. Thank you very much. That one courtesy of Silver Age Dave as well. So he gets a double shout out this time. So anyway, that's what we got going on. I hope you all have enjoyed that. That's my little filing cabinet. If you got any questions on that, let me know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram and ask away. Uh, and we'll remind you as always to read a comic and don't apologize for the glare. Thanks. Bye-bye.